Welcome, everybody. I have put my watch on silent. Silence. Do not disturb. I think I've figured out why uh, Pen and Pen 86 was crashing, and I think it's got something to do with one of the mods I installed. Therefore, we should be good to complete Pen and Pen. Uh, is it Fen and Pen? However you say it. 86. The mission in the helicopter with the gun that crashed last time. <clears throat> Apologies for not being around yesterday. I've just not been feeling great. Um, I'm still not feeling great, to be honest, but I'm trying to distract myself with other things. Fen and Pen 86. What kind of incompetent fool are you? doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? Your name's Lance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. Lance Vance. Jesus, how low do you want to fly? He's going to fly under the bridge. Of course he does. Island. You ever fire one of those Unnecessary fire showboating by Lance Vance there. I'll get a bit of practice on the way though. I don't need practice, I'm an expert. Okay, we're almost there. We'll make a couple of passes. So take out as many guns as you can. Then I'll set you down and you're on your way. Fun facts, this little street on the movie studio. It's from GTA 3. <laughs> it's the um it's the Times Square equivalent, isn't it? The helicopter clips the house. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that in vanilla, so that is kind of weird. That, we, I mean, that tree should have taken us out as well. It's not the most... Let's put it this way, I wouldn't be getting in a helicopter with Lance. Not in a million years, mate. Who's alive? I missed somebody? Oh, I think we're good. Says the man who's literally like flying it into fucking buildings and trees and shit. Okay, you're on your own from here. I got a very early snipe on one of them there. It was good. Pretty clean helicopter run there. So you do it, boys and girls. So you do it. Fingers crossed the game doesn't crash this time. Please. Not that it's a tremendously hard mission or anything, but it's kind of annoying to have to do it repeatedly. Okay, we're good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we did it. Excellent work, everybody. Let's go and save the game. 
Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game and then I'm going to put the mod that was causing the crash back because... My understanding is that this is the only mission it crashes and it does help with things like draw distance and other problems with definitive. Why can't I see the chat? Is anyone... is there no chats? It's just Zach redeeming stuff. Hello Zach. Salute. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm going to get the cops on me, but... It's no big deal. You're a mod. I don't know who made you a mod. Someone was making painfully bad decisions that day. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Good news. Uh, we've completed Venom Pen 86. Uh, it turns out one of the mods I had installed was causing the crash. But, uh... Got past it. I'm still a bit sad about the music situation, but there's not a lot I can do about it. That the last um surprisingly enough the VOD stayed up, but it did get DMCA to all hell. So like uh someone's making some moolah off that last stream, not me. I think every record label under the sun has got a claim on on that last video. But hey, it's still on. So it's still up, so that's that's good news. It would be nice to have some 80s nostalgic music going on. Sadly, we can't. I do like the lighting in the... Like, the all this neon is cool. I'm going to reinstall that mod, though, because the draw distance stuff is kind of annoying me. So, uh, I'm going to close the game momentarily. And... I'm going to re-enable this mod. Reboot the game. Hello, Mikey. Yes, you've been summoned. How are you? <laughs> I don't understand how there are three people in the chat and one viewer. Oh, I see the confusion. One of the mods is in modifications for the game as opposed to one of the moderators. It's time to do the Lands Vance dance. Damn. Stick around, Mikey. Stick around. Oh no, my fast car's gone. This is the worst car in the game. Never drive it. It's terrible. Here we go. Here, here is a replacement in fairness. It's quite, quite handy. Oh, it's a Banshee. I get confused between the Banshee and the Infernus in this game because every car in this game is boxy. And looks the same, sort of. Ouch. Hello, Pendant. Let's uh, let's go see Avery Carrington. We might as well get his stuff done. We'll go get Burt Reynolds' missions done. I do love Vice City D. It does look nice with the lights and everything else. It would be nice if we could have music. I keep going I keep going on about it, but it is what it is. Am I even going the right way? Don't even know. Yeah, here we go. Nice. You don't see neon anymore, do you? Like imagine if you had a building like, like I'd live in this apartment. It's stylish AF. It's got like the nineteen fifties kind of vibes, but with all the neon going on. Beautiful. Do you still have buildings like that in Miami? Does anyone know? Has anyone been to Miami? Are 
Are you sure about that? You cried when you saw how well I bossed the grand old lift of rolls. <laughs> to be honest, I was proud of myself for remembering any of that. Because um, I, had, I had genuine panic and fear that this was going to take forever. The whole episode just to figure out the lift. And I knew people would get so upset. The synapses started to fire and it came back to me, <laughs> thankfully, in the nick of time. <laughs> Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? There's now Donald Love. Your gang lord died. You disguise yourself and head on down and crash the funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. We can we can go back and explore around the elevator. You getting this down, Donald? Oh, that ought Deco to Drive looks like that. That's coupon. okay, and it has all and the neon around the edges. Watch the prices tumble. Oh, is, have we unlocked the second? Uh, have we unlocked the second island? We must have done because we're going to Little Havana. The thing about Vice City is you can absolutely tear through, like the first half of the game, and then the only reason it takes ages is because of all the different. Um, Businesses you've got to acquire because you've got to acquire at least four businesses and the print works to be able to get to the final mission Let me let me tell you some interesting facts about Grand Theft Auto Vice City which I think you'll all appreciate. Number one, it took just one year to develop this game from start to finish. So literally as one, one year from GTA 3 coming out, this game was released, which in and of itself is impressive. I, I don't want to think about the crunch that was probably involved in making that work. There is a technique for this mission. Number two, um, this game was originally not a game. It was supposed to be an expansion pack for GTA 3. Like, DLC, effectively. And that's why it's so quirky, um, because it's not a full-size game, and that's why they padded it out with all the... Um, with all of the businesses and stuff that you had to do to make it a longer game <laughs> so that it would actually be long enough. Have we got any grenades? A well-placed grenade would solve this problem. Down. Can we go up on the wall? Yeah, this this will do. Nice. That's how you do it. That's how you might like make life easy for yourself. Then you just go and flip your car, and everything's copacetic, right? See, the thing about Elden Ring is I'm, I'm not claiming to remember everything about it. Or even most things about it. But something about that whole situation with the Grand Old Lift of Roll just came back to me like a nightmare. And uh, I remembered it. But that's not... To be fair, I think, I think in my defense, I remember more things about the game than James does. But I, I also think there is a weird situation where James has done things I haven't done. And I've done things that James hasn't done. So we're, our recollections of the game are not the same. Like that cave on the right. I don't know if I ever went to that cave. Which apparently is there. Even though James took us in a big circle and I could see him doing that. Um, oh, yeah, here's the fun thing with the golf club. Because uh, traffic is spawning. Hey, Leo. I got some work for you. The same Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's going to kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of so that? We, we might be able to see traffic Leo? on the on the golf course. Wanna work for me? Drop by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. He wasn't on his best behavior. What did he do? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I think I've triggered it to stop spawning traffic now.
This is completely irrelevant to the game. I just want to see if, uh, just for funsies. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there are any cars driving around the golf course. There's just nothing on the golf course, so it hasn't triggered the uh, the buggies. Anyway, it's a very weird system. Anyway, um... So why why was James in a bad bad behavior? I forget. I actually think the last couple of Elden Rings um have been pretty good if I do say so myself. Not great. But I think we're starting to gel a bit better <laughs> in our gameplay. <laughs> it's a marked improvement over the first episode which featured me, which was an absolute disaster in every single way, shape and form. So Let's go and see uh, Colonel Cortez, because we should probably finish his mission strings before we, uh... I think this is the last mission for Cortez. I think this is helping him get out of Vice City, but we'll see. If I recall correctly. Hopefully I'll get better, like, as well, like, I, I, uh, I definitely had some ring rust, as it were, <laughs> when I first came back to it. But if anything, this is also good practice for the DLC, right? Because, uh... I've got to play through that as well, I guess. Yes, was pleased. I would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting. Oh yeah, no, James. Yes, I I kind of knew going in that James wasn't loss. gonna. What makes you say that? One does not I was at least hoping you'd be able to keep me up to date as to what had happened, but he didn't even get. He didn't even do that. Hello, Beta Gamma. Time to run more oh, Beta Gamma. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up. Oh no, this is the I tank mission. I Never want mind. you to call me immediately. Then... There's a couple of strategies to be able to do this mission. But my favourite is the donut shop strategy. So I think we'll be doing that. Although we're not going to be doing it if I crash everywhere. Jesus. The only problem with this Banshee is it does tend to be a bit slidey. Anyway, the, the point of this mission... Oh my god, the traffic. The point of this mission is that um, the army are bringing a tank along this road. And you have to steal the tank. And obviously you can't just like walk up to a tank and steal it because it's locked and there's loads of army boys everywhere. However... If you wait at this bagel restaurant, or this donut shop, although what do they sell? Bananas, pears, pineapples, tomatoes, apples, uh, pa packages of Yayo. Uh, what have we got? The fridge is open. The fridge is open. You can't do that. This is an OSHA violation. Sir, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Your fridge. Anyway. 
if you wait at this donut shop, the uh, the guys get hungry and they just park the tank up and get out of it, and you can just steal the tank. So this is the... I don't know how many people know about this. Um, but yeah, I think most people just try and steal the tank and just get shot to shit. Whereas the, my strategy is just uh, hang out here for a minute. There are other ways to do it. But this is the one I always use. Go get some donuts, soldier! Sir, yes, sir! Convoy, halt! So now it's just an easy steal, because you left the door unlocked. Top geckers, let's go! Why are you trying to use a spike strip on a tank? Crazy behavior. Well, it's four stars now, but yeah, it starts you off at three. To be fair, the cops are pretty aggressive at three stars in this game. The only real difference between three stars, four stars, five stars, and six stars is um, the types of vehicles that come after you. So, like, I think at four stars, the FBI will start. And then I think at five stars, the um, the military will start coming after you. And then at six stars, like, the fucking hunter helicopter comes after you and shit like that. But listen, it's an easy, it's an easy pass. It's an easy pass. The old donut technique. So what, what was the boss you were getting stuck on, sorry? Oh, Jesus, what's happened to here? Hello, Morgan. Nice to see you. What the frick? Did I just get murdered by some AI traffic? What? I don't think so, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna load the auto save. <laughs> oh my god. I just need a vehicle. There's just no vehicle spawns here. It's crazy. Perennial, completely terrible car. Aqua Olga Marie. Is that an Elden Ring boss? I'm confused. I don't know what game we're talking about. Sorry. Anyway, we're pretty much just on Diaz's missions now. Um... Behave yourself, Zach. <laughs> There's someone in the car. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to bring you to this uh, mafia mansion. <laughs> Sorry. I guess he's... Is he Colombian? I guess he's Colombian, Diaz. I'm not sure. That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. A Every bottle of champagne. I don't think this stream is worth the champers, if I'm honest. Rumor has it but if you want to crack open the, some champagne for your own benefit, then Costa Rican obviously go ahead. Head. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. 
Apparently Diaz has a uh, pitching problem. So here's the fun thing about this mission. That's why, why are we taking this? Let's take uh, let's take Lance's um, Infernus. Uh, the great thing about this mission is you can cheese it pretty easily. So the intention, or the intended way to do this mission, uh, this is more speedrun strats by the way, you're welcome. The intended way to do this mission is you have to shoot up the boatyard, um, flip a switch in the warehouse or the boat, the actual building or whatever. Uh, that then, okay, okay, what's your malfunction dude? Um, anyway, so then you have to... Um, Flip the switch, which drops the boat in the water, and then open the gate, and then you can get the boat. However, I'm going to show you a technique, just a little bit easier than that. Using my friend Jimmy Kruger and some speed. shooting me from behind. Anyway, don't need it. All you have to do is run into this corner and press triangle and you'll just hop into the boat. Job done. Let's go. <laughs> that is a long-standing bug that has been in the game since day one and they never fixed it. Um, so that is a favourite strat for speedrunners, just to very quickly steal the boat. Like, you you really don't have to do the mission for this mission. You just uh, get yourself straight into that corner, press triangle, and you'll just teleport into the boat because of reasons. It's because... Um, it's because Vice City has this mechanic where if you're... I'll try and show you. Like, if, you, if you're in a boat, right, and you are next to land and you hop into the water, it'll, you'll, kind, you'll kind of see it happen. See how it teleported me onto land? So because because it has that because it has that um, mechanic to teleport you onto land, um, whenever you're like at the edge of land, to stop you from drowning unfairly trying to get out of a boat or whatever, it's basically just abusing that. So the game's just like, oh, the nearest coordinates to where you are is this boat, and then it just pops you on the boat. So <laughs> it's kind of, uh, yeah, abusing the system. Why are there just cops hanging around this ma mansion? What is happening here? There are just cops everywhere. So weird. Yeah, you can the game's kind of like, oh, you're falling into water. I'm going to teleport you to the nearest safe coordinate. And it just happens to be that boat. So, And then it's like, oh, you're in the boat. I'm just going to immediately drop the boat. And then, um, yeah, it, it's just abuse of the mission script, basically, I think. I, I'm not a I'm not a technical person, but that's basically what's happening. But anyway, yes, it's a way it's an easy way to just watch that mission. So. You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? I think we've all had anyone who's old, old enough to remember a VHS recorder will have had this uh, exact oh, issue. It is my favorite El Burro movie. It died. What else can I El do? El Burro it's of the Diablos. <laughs> what? El Burro is the only character from Dang. GTA 2. No man. And I think GTA I 1, who appeared in more. GTA 3. And he's El getting Dying. a reference in Vice City. So there you go. El Burro Each is the longest, oldest, surviving original City character from Grand Theft Auto. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat. And beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? I mean, I'm pretty sure El Burro means little donkey. But yes, it's uh, he, he's a, he makes pornography. He's, uh... Oh, there's going to be music in this cutscene. Quick, quick, quick.
I'm gonna mute very quickly. <laughs> For God's sake. We got some Are you sure about that? So Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So I mean, I will say this remaster is inconsistent, though, we yes. Now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real friends. Yeah, I mean, like, why is Vance... I mean, I think that's normal. Yeah, I think, uh, not to defend Grove Street Games, because I would never do such a thing, but... They really did just run out of time. <laughs> or oh, bit off more than they could chew, one might say. Check this out. So, they, I think they had good intentions to do things like animate the hands and... Other, other things and just straight up just didn't have that's why GTA 3 is most polished because it's the the, the, the shortest slash easiest game and then Vice City has a few more and then San Andreas is a mess to be honest I'm not sure if I would even play San Andreas D I might if I, if I did San Andreas I might just play vanilla San Andreas I'm not sure um there are gunmen on that jetty. But I haven't I haven't modded uh Sun and Dress yet, so I might see what I can do with it to make it better. God. Can you not hear me okay? I didn't mean to be ignoring you, sorry. Yeah, but GTA 3 is from 2001 and Vice City is from 2002, that's correct. Like I said, I don't know if you caught it, but the, the story behind Vice City is it took one year to create and release and it was supposed to be like a DLC for, for GTA 3 and that just got out of hand and became its own game. So, um, yeah, no, this game, this game is straight up a miracle, uh, frankly. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't begrudge them for... I mean, there's also the argument that, you know, you could just take your time developing shit. But um, for, for 12 months of work, end to end, from conception to creation to release, you know... It's great. I'm just going to put that down to water on the floor. Uh, <laughs> I don't hate chat. I'm talking to chat. What? What? Right. Let's pause, shall we? What? What? We? What? El Burrow. We've covered El Burrow. I've covered Pendant's question. I've asked you. Pokemon games get more time in the oven than that. It's true. Boogers. Great. Low morgues. Poon shoots and okay, that's just Zach being Zach. Uh, are you better about keeping up with chat than Danny is? Oh, oh, you are better. Okay, well, fine. Um, the chat and the chat is not in the middle of the screen and not glowing in some poisonous neon color, so it's hard to notice. Well, let me have you tried to play a game and read the chat at the same time? I'm glad you're enjoying the new emojis, Kamikaze Ice. Let's go and do a telephone mission because it's there and we can. Oh, the success of the Mario VODs. Yeah, I did see that message. I, I'll be honest, I just forgot to say it. I thought I did say something. Never mind. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I can't explain it. I guess people like Mario 64. Quite a lot of new people did turn up in the chat for that. Including people that were getting very angry at me because I would take a screenshot of a penguin and weird shit like that, but um, Yeah, I don't know, I guess it's a I guess it's a game a lot of people remember. Come on, man, be cool, be cool. 
I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing. You and me, no problem. You know what I mean? We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead. Look at this fabulous lip sync. Too far now. But thanks for the call. Speak to uh, you later. I am file tracker, so I guess this is the file tracker show, I guess. Freedom Tower. Is that the one from um a movie? Die Hard or something, or am I just getting that confused? People like Mario 64, but more people like Dragon's Dogma 2. Well, again, I'd have to... I, I want to play Dragon's Dogma 1 if I was going to do Dragon's Dogma before I did 2, because it just seems silly to start at 2. Well, World Trade, World Trade Center 1 is called Freedom Tower, isn't it? Oh, I remember this mission. Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, Danny. Great, I've got no Kruger bullets left. The M60 should work. Dick Tanner is a reference to the uh, main character of the Driver series of games. And he's got a Newcastle accent because reflections are from Newcastle. <laughs> There's reflections being obviously the studio that developed Driver. So it's just a gentle rib on the folks who made Driver. Nice. Richard Hammond and Franco Carter are located near the jewelry shop in somewhere. Oh god, my infernus! You can jump out of cars now, which is handy when they're on fire, because in GTA 3 you have to stop the car completely before you can get out. So if your car caught fire mid-journey, you were uh, you were in trouble. I don't remember what Driver was like on Game Boy. I can't imagine it was that great. I mean, obviously the the PlayStation One original is the one that, and Driver Two for PlayStation One is the is the thing people remember. Driver and Driver 2 were pushing the limits of the PlayStation 1 so hard. But yeah, you but I mean in hindsight it wasn't that great. Like you were getting like 12 FPS out of that game. <laughs> Driver 2 especially the FPS was so bad. On P on PS1 it's like 12 FPS. It was like, "Oh my god, this is unplayable." By modern standards. But back then it was like, "Oh my god. 3D open world in uh Oh Jesus. He's got Spaz 12. What the frick? Wow, just erased my health in two shots. Yaxi Spikesies. Okay. The European gang plan. I had full armor as well, and it, well, I had half armor, but yeah, he he uh, he raised he raised my health in two shots. So let's not go near the Spaz Twelve guy. Let's shoot. Let's just blow his car up from a distance this time. <laughs> I think is the technique. That was kind of BS difficult to see, honestly. Um, in real life, a shotgun at that range would tear your face off, it's true. But it is a video game, Zach.
Nice. That's how you do that. Cool, yo. Nick Pong is cruising off Washington Beach. I mean, people say that Vice City is the or GTA is down, is responsible for the downfall of society. But I mean, personally, I am I am fascinated by these um, this this trilogy of games. Three Vice City and San Andreas. They're um, they're wonderful video games but there are there are things about Grand Theft Auto games that the, the anti uh, oh, violence crowd seem to forget or they just conveniently choose to ignore it because it doesn't fit the narrative which is number one um, the characters you're playing in these games are not good people right but they do have like they usually have some kind of a redemption arc of some kind so GTA 3 is probably an exception because that character just is, isn't really a character. He's just nameless and faceless and boring and dull. But, like, there's normally some kind of atonement that happens with the main characters of, of GTA games. Number two, a GTA game will never, ever ask you to kill an innocent pedestrian, ever. There is not a single mission in the history of any Grand Theft Auto where it's like, just kill some innocent pedestrians. Maybe in the first two games, I can't remember. But um, you're always either attacking gangsters or bad people or it's, it's something like that, right? And number three, the game actively punishes you for doing that stuff, right? So the more innocent people you kill or whatever it is, the higher wanted level you get and the harder the game becomes to play. So being, being a bad person... I, I mean, let's not. I mean, it's shades of grey because because I'm a criminal gangster who murders people. But murdering innocent people um, just makes life harder for you. So you, the game actively punishes you for doing that. So yeah, that's my four cents on it. <laughs> Sorry, I went on a ramble again. French Tom. Oof. You don't... You don't murder French Tom, do you? Well, oh, oh, French Tom is like a member of the Mafia or something, isn't he? Is it, was French Tom just an innocent... Um... Like he wasn't tied to any criminal organization or anything. He was just a, just a dude. I'm going to look that up. Uh, Tre Trevor doesn't have a redemption arc. Michael does. Uh, Tre Trevor is a complicated character. In the GTA series. He he was in debt to Brucey. So yeah, I mean, I guess he wasn't. I guess I guess that's not great, to be honest. But um, but by and large, it's not like oh, just go and blow up twenty ped innocent pedestrians. I'm not trying to defend the morality of Grand Theft Auto games. I'm just saying it's not as black and white as a lot of people will have you believe. 
is all I'm trying to say. Say, man. Hey. Easy Welcome back, me. Morgan. Just to prove me. I'm reading your messages. You. You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. I think this is Danny Trejo here. <laughs> you think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, puppy. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Well, it Lady looks like him as well, doesn't it? Which is some kind of rare for, for like a woman. early GTAs. You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I mean, nowadays, everybody looks like themselves because of the way Give modern mocap works money. and things like that. But back then, yeah. it's like kind of unique. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. There are so Maybe many celebrities in this game, it's, it's actually quite hard man, to keep track. Um, Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. Uh, Tommy Versetti. No, Samuel L. Jackson is in San Andreas. No, the character's talking on the GTAs. This is the first one where the protagonist talks. So in GTA 3, um, Claude Speed, who's the main protagonist, doesn't talk. But every game since then, so Vice City onwards, have all been the same. So every, every character talks. Um, there was no voice acting in GTA 1 or 2, but that's perfectly understandable. Yeah, no, in every game since, like, like, um, CJ will, he talks in San Andreas and Nico talks in GTA 4 and so on and so on. Can you believe there have only been three main GTA games since this? San Andreas, GTA 4 and GTA 5, that's it. <laughs> this game is 20 years old. <laughs> it's 22 years old to be exact. Oh, I've screwed that up. That's uh It's not that bad even without the mods to be honest. It does get a bad rap, but yes, you do have to install mods to make it um acceptable. It will annoy the crap out of you without mods. Without mods there are just like some weird textures and weird models and just things that are broken and yeah, there's a ton of great mods on Nexus mods which I highly recommend if you're going to play these. But I think these remasters with mods, for me, are better than the vanilla versions. I know that's a controversial take. If you want to play some actual mod mods, like total conversion mods and stuff, this version's crap because those don't work. But um, if you just want like the best vanilla experience, I think this with mods is pretty good at this point. Um... Thank you, Morgan, for the promo. <laughs> if you want mods for the original Vice City, then you want to go to Gamefront.com. We've got all of the Vice City mods, but we just don't have any, or we don't have many Definitive Edition mods because uh, people don't like us anymore. I did screw up one checkpoint, so this is this might be slightly tight, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we're good. I think the next one after this one is the last one, I think. Yep. Noise. Yeah, these missions are actually, like, not mandatory missions. They're, like, side missions, I guess. Um, okay. 
Skyrim is closer to the release of Ocarina of Time than it will be to Elder Scrolls 6. Not dead man been chatting about you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So Auntie Pulley make you some stew, eh? I've already played Super Mario 64. Oh, Superman 64. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I did play Super Mario 60... Uh, sorry, Superman 64 once. It was on my own YouTube channel um, many, many years ago. I I created a forum thread on, on the Game From forums and basically said, I'm going to make a video where I play a bunch of really terrible video games back to back. Um, please... Give me your suggestions, and one of them was Superman 64. One of them was, um... See, look, now we've got buggies spawning on the bridge. Hilarious! God, why has he got a pop tire? Uh, I don't think Atari 2600 was, was one of them. I forget what all the all the games were that I, I'd have to find. I'd have to dig that video out. Um, let me see if I can find it. See what all the different uh, games were <laughs> that I was forced to play in one evening. Um, Skyrim is a great game. You are a monster. The fact that you stuck it out through through Starfield, but you refuse to uh, um, you you refuse to give uh, Skyrim any credit is insane to me. You didn't you didn't finish Skyrim. So here are the games that I played in this old video from 2014, so literally 10 years ago today. Um, one was a game called Red Light Center. I think that was suggested by Schofield, if I remember correctly, and that was basically like a fucking porn game. It was re I had to blur tons of shit out. Dai Katana was another one that someone suggested I play. I mean, Dai Katana is obviously famously terrible. Um, Starship Troopers, <laughs> like the really old Starship Troopers game. Um, that was terrible. Life as a whole, um, I can't remember much about Life as a whole, to be honest. Um, there was a game called, uh, and funnily enough, Skyrim was in there, but it was a modded version of Skyrim where everybody just had the tallywhackers out. So like, it was just, again, just tons of blurring out. Um, the original Goat Simulator, to be honest, I, th I quite like the original, I like, quite like Goat Simulator, so I wouldn't have called that necessarily a, a bad game. Um, Star Wars Empire at War Rogues, Rambo the video game, uh, real life compared to, that's, that, that's just a silly scare did. Yeah, Superman 64, something called Little Devil, L-I-T-I-L-D-I-V-I-L, which was like an old, um, uh, I think it was like a, a video like an old Sega CD type game or a Philips CDI type game. Um, the next suggestion. And then what's this one? Yeah, no, that was it. I think those were them, but th that was basically all of the terrible games that I played. Also, if you do somehow go back and find that video, it's terrible. I have zero personality or, check this out. you know, I'm, I'm even worse than I am now, believe it or not. But yeah, those were those were a collection of terrible games, and I I do think it would be fun at some point to do a, a similar live stream where we just stream a ton of really bad games <laughs> that you guys have suggested in one evening. So I quite like variety boxes, you know, like Halloween stream and demo disc stream, I'm totally because I think people like that kind of oh. We don't really know what's coming next, and that's kind of exciting. <laughs> it might be good, it might be really bad, like, we just don't know. Um, I quite enjoy that. Not really knowing what I'm going to be playing is, is quite fun. Alright, Mush, I'm going to save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? 
You know that wanker Dia is the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is you might try to jump Very funny, pal. Very funny. You know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! Oh, hell right. In plain right. English. Keep your party on. You got him across town the junkyard. I've never really that attempted the speedrun strap time. before, but I think I might give it a go because I'm just feeling a bit fruity. Um, Coca-Cola had a game. Well, there's Pepsi Man as well. I've always wanted to play Pepsi Man, and I've never actually played it. Here's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to go... Hmm... We're going to go here. In a fucking golf buggy. We're not doing it in a golf buggy. What the fuck, honestly. Why did I come to this mission with a golf buggy? Lance would be so dead by the time we got there in a golf buggy. It would be insane. I think there is a closer slash better helicopter spawn I could have gone to, but I don't quite know where it is. So. I'm going to do the cheap thing and go to where I know I can find a helicopter. I don't think this is going to work. I think, I think this helicopter is too far away, but, um... We're all on medication, love. It's just modern life for you. This car is so slidey. Also, I've gone completely the wrong way. Yeah, th th those old videos are terrible. Like, really shockingly bad. Some of them blew up, like, inexplicably, though. Th there's, there's the pre-war Fallout 4 one has, like... 1.5 million views or something silly like that and then there's quite a few in there that i've got like hundreds of thousands of views and i don't understand how any of that happened but anyway i think a handful of them were genuinely good concepts but most of them were just terribly bad so my plan is to jump in here steal this helicopter Hello, plug guy. Some of them are okay. Oh God, what's happening here? But most of them are bad. Yes, I've seen all of Fallout series at this point. Um, it's very good. No spoilers. I won't tell you anything about it, but um, I enjoyed it a lot. And the teaser for the next series at the end was very exciting to me. <laughs> so the idea is... Oh god, I've completely stuffed this up. The idea is I can just land right next to the... to the doodad. And then just very quickly run in and grab grab Lance. Come on, Lance. Let's go. Let's go, buddy boy. So we can just skip most of the enemies using the helicopter. Cheap and cheerful. But I'm pretty sure I took my time getting that helicopter. Um, why was there no stream yesterday? I wasn't feeling well. Sorry. Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Can we take off from here? Nope. Yeah, 
Oh, they popped all my tires. I can't do this with four pop tires. This is just horrifically bad. Oh, my car's going to catch fire. Oh, I can't get out because I'm wedged. Um, Diaz has died, uh, Lance has died, fantastic, look at that, carnage everywhere, <laughs> Jesus! Good gravy. I'm gonna save your beer, mate. Uh... There are no, I'm not on any packets, I'm afraid, today. Kamikaze ice. Um... Uh, did, 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 what's this 17 year old video? Well, that's that's a video I uploaded 17 years ago. Indeed, that was at the height of Filefront's glory. It's just a picture of a fan spinning round. Um, yeah, that speedrun strat was terrible uh, because the guys that I avoided on the way in just shot all my ties on the way out, the and uh, complete waste of time. I don't know why the chat stops auto scrolling. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna switch that. Um, the, that fan probably did cool a server of some kind, at some stage. Believe it or not, there was a lot of under-the-desk servers back in those days. <laughs> it was perfectly acceptable to, um, to run a server on an old computer under your desk and, uh, just have that go out over your ADSL connection back in the early 2000s. That was just a, very much a, how we did business. Not for everything, but maybe for some things. We're just going to do this mission the intended way because, let's be honest, it's not exactly difficult. I just need to not try and be clever. It's not big and it's not clever. Uh, if you if you want to use my emotes, you, you're very welcome to. I think I'm using some of yours, so <laughs> why not? That all you got? This gun is massively OP. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Oh, Jesus. Hello, boys. Where did you come from? Fucking hell. Hmm. 
Mop up all the green. Let's go. Mr. Lance. Vance dance. Who's in a trance? Peeing his pants. And needs an advance. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. Why are you stuck in place? What's happening? There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do? Mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we can now get out of this place without getting my tires shredded to shit. stuff like this is to keep moving right like when you stop they catch you and if they catch you they'll just try and stun lock you but if you can keep moving hopefully we should be okay Nice. Bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. Is Zach just having a mental breakdown? Like, I don't understand what's, uh... I don't understand what's occurring there. There's a couple of things we want to do before this next mission, to be honest. So, one of them is body armor. The other one is health. So, I don't know why I drove away from the areas where I could find those things. I didn't walk into the hospital itself, I just walked into the courtyard. And frankly, I will defend my First Amendment right to carry firearms until the day I die, you commie bastard. <laughs> Second Amendment, sorry. Can I have a car, please, game? Car? Open your eyes. I don't want to move to America, no. Not really. This looks like the car from Driver, doesn't it? In this colour. It's pretty cool.
We go and do Colonel Cortez first, maybe. Yeah, why not? Whoops, a daisy. Did I see Lewis Hamilton play Driver? Well, like the original Driver for PlayStation. Why would he be playing Driver? Or was he playing one of the newer ones? But like, Driver's a dead series, isn't it? Like, when was the last time Ubisoft released a Driver game? Uh, you, we we tried to buy oh, the, the OG driver. Departure. That's quite funny. Uh, the I'll have to go and check that out. Last incident, this time to find safer it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check -in. Besides, I, need I mean, everybody sucks at driver. It's not exactly the easiest game in the world, is it? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> Not even by Driver San Francisco, which is crazy. Look out, it's the French. Well, that's not good. Did one of them get left behind? Oh, he's just not moving. That's funny. I will check it out after the stream. Oh, guy. Oh my god, they've got a helicopter. Nice. All right, bye, boys. <laughs> Enjoy your swims with the fishes. No one lives forever. Well, speaking of hunters.
Why was that so easy to shoot down? Oh, I think there's a bug. If you hit the rotor blade perfectly, you know, like the bit that connects, connects the rotor blade to the to the helicopter itself, it just instantly kills the helicopter. <laughs> easy peasy. Easy done. I will look into No One Lives Forever. Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. How old is the game? Away, like, when did it release? Could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. 2000, 2002. So it could probably run on my Windows 95 emulator, right? Or my Windows 98 or Windows ME uh, emulator. XP. 2000 is way before XP. I am sure I will find a way of making it work, one way or another. Alright Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offence to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot thing. Well, don't say I never warned you. Okay, I guess I can't teleport onto land there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Alright Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offence to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden. Giving it a big shot thing. Well don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mug game, son. Anyway. Why? Has it stopped? Is it okay now? I heard there's some price been put on your head and someone's gonna have a crack at you to watch yourself. And remember me, mate. 
that's stinky stuff. Which way to the biker bar, dude? I think that's fixed it. How have I lost five health and five armor? How did I... Oh, whatever. We should be fine. Yeah, I don't know why it starts... Why it started... Yeah, like, the game itself was fine. Shit. It's just Streamlabs. Like, I could see the video feed in Streamlabs was, was <laughs> storing, and I don't really understand why. You like? Yeah, I like. Seems to have solved itself now. I highly doubt it's anybody's likeness, to be honest. Why is it skipping cutscenes? Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. What? So with this mission, you never go through the front door because you can't go through the front door and uh, they'll just kill you. So you always go around the back. What the fuck? And as they say, slow and steady wins the race. The only problem is Lance running off and getting himself killed. Fucking hell, Lance. Just stay still, will you, mate? What is happening? Diaz must be inside. One second, I think, uh... Now you'll stay away from me! Come on, that tough guy. I'm going to flee your foot. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! 
I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this, you murdering bastards! Diaz has a ton of health. There we go. Easy done. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this game all of a sudden. I, I might restart it. Stupid pricks! Maybe that'll help. My beautiful house! Look what you've done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <laughs> Yeah, Diaz is a I short, thick, angry man. <laughs> Say good night, Mr. Diaz. Say good night, Mr. Diaz. Boom. Two bullets in the face. What can you do? Congratulations, I've acquired the property of Diaz's mansion. Let's let's save the game. Reboot the game. I mean, I've never fired a real M4, so I couldn't tell you whether how it compares to the in-game version. But um, if you try and fire the M4 using a controller, it's just unusable. You want to use a mouse for the M4. Because then you can just do some pretty accurate one-hit shots with it. It's pretty it's pretty overpowered with the mouse. <laughs> but with the with the with the controller it's got such horrific recoil. I think that's why it's a one-hit kill though, because it's so horrifically bad to aim that when it does connect it kinda has to kill them. <laughs> it's a bit messed up. Let's change our clothes. That's uh Oh we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. This is Except the last I time you see Burt Reynolds, and I'm pretty sure it's a recycled you know line. What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. But that's the end of Burt Reynolds in this game goodbye. because he got fired for being a dick. Local business <laughs> Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. So the interesting thing about this mission, uh, where we have to go to the mall and break all the windows, because the, the shops in the mall are refusing to pro uh, pay protection money. The fun thing about this mission is there is an element of luck to it because the windows are RNG, right? So the number of shots it takes to break a window is completely random. I think there's an upper limit and a lower limit. but. With the lower limit being 1 and the upper limit maybe being 10 or something like that. But sometimes if you get really bad RNG, you just end up soaking all of your bullets into these windows. And sometimes you can just pop them in one shot and it's that easy. Uh, might as well use a pistol for this. The technique is to start from upstairs and then do down. Oh, those are downstairs. Doi. The thing about Definitive Edition is they've added actual windows to every shop, like in, in the vanilla version. <laughs> See, that was pretty good RNG, because it's like... That was seven. Like, 
This one is... That was eight. That was three. 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 Why is it doing this again? Stop it. You understand what this is? Five. Three. Two. I thought you had to break more windows than that, but apparently I can just do over one shop and we're good. So, there you go. Fair enough, I guess. So, we're kind of now at the point of the game where we have to start buying assets and stuff. There are a few more missions we can do first, though. Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. Which I think makes sense, because we kind of need to earn as much money as we can. Um, so, I'm going to go back to Vassetti Estate. I think there's one more Vassetti... Uh, one or two more Vassetti Estate missions we can do. And then there is a... Um... There's the, the, the Haitians and the Cubans stuff. And then Ken Paul's just give us a call with the record label stuff as well we can do. So we're going to do all of that. And then we'll start working through the assets and then it's the final mission and then it's the end. So <laughs> I don't know how many streams this is going to take. Maybe two more? And we've got half an hour left on this one, so... Not too worried. Today's Friday, isn't it? Okay. What's my favourite GTA store... ...slash production... ...product bomb? Oh, um... I don't know if I have a favourite one, really, because they're all quite puerile. Uh... <laughs> Um, just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. Is it Thursday? I apologize. Keep your eyes open and you might also, Bert Reynolds apparently has one more phone call for some reason. Later. later, Avery. Cheers. Cheers, Avery, dude. Uh, da -da -da -da. Favorite pawn name. It's quite an obscure one, but I quite like the security vehicles in like GTA 3 and Vice City. Because you know how you've got like Group 4 Security Corps as a, is a real life brand of like, you know, the guys who take money from banks to cash machines and all that kind of stuff. And in GTA, they're called Group Sex. <laughs> What's the problem? It's very funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're all just sex jokes, aren't they? They're all, they're all ten a penny. Don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Speaking of group sex, um, we're actually going to go to one of these security places right now, I think. Oh, this isn't a four-door. I need a four-door. Look at that convenient four-door spawn right there just for this mission. Let's go in our... Uh, it's a Sentinel, but it's uh, definitely not BMW.
I mean, even in GTA 3, because that's set in like 2001, the cars are quite boxy compared to today. Where are you going, dude? Well, if Elon Musk has anything to do with it, boxy cars are coming back in fashion, right? <laughs> the fucking Cybertruck or whatever the fuck that thing is. Drink beer. There's a statement for life. Excuse me, lady? What? Okay, move out of the way, dudes. Come on, we've got places to be here. Danny boy protection security needs to be done over. I wish I had grenades. Grenades would make this easier. But I don't have grenades, so it's not really an option, is it? If I can make my car blow up. Nice. Excuse me, officer. Right, we've got to be quick now. I think I'll take that in furnace, thank you very much. You, just come alive, baby. you hang around here, boys, I don't need you. For fuck's sake, the cops! The fucking group sex vans. Those bikes only need to get to that lighthouse. They're not going massively fast, but... You don't have a ton of time to catch them, because if they get to the lighthouse, it's game over. Nice. Nice, easy done. Let's go. I wonder if Elon is going to get into sex toy making. I mean... I mean, he got into the social media business. I mean, anything's possible, I guess. Busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. The great thing about this mansion, once you unlock it, is you get unlimited, like, health, armor, and, uh, yeah, I think it's M4. So you can farm M4 ammo. Which, as we've seen, is completely overpowered, so that's not a bad thing to do. We got problems with the street kids. Because again, like in Vice City, you need to save your money. So you can't really go buying it at the ammunition. You, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me 
in front of the boys. I can't have that. It ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. What I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I Oh well, it's taking a while. Let's go. You. You treat me like a but yeah, I mean in theory you could just farm for M4 ammo if you really wanted to. You in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. It's quite funny to me how um, Lance Vance just immediately has a mental breakdown the minute you take over the mansion. It, I went, the first time I played this as a kid, I was like, oh, Lance Vance's betrayal at the end was really surprising, and it was kind of like, nah, they were telegraphing that from the start. <laughs> really obviously, like painfully obvious. That Lance was just having a mental breakdown from day one. But he screwed the fuses, and now the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. It's hard to tell who the bad guy is, really. doesn't cut and run. Is Lance the bad guy, or is Tommy Vassetti the bad guy? Because to be honest, over that building with a fine -tooth comb, right? Lance isn't entirely wrong <laughs> in, in the complaints go that he's got. And torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but no one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms, and we're gonna need a squad car. I mean, obviously well, they're both as bad as each other, but still, sorry. like... I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. I don't know why that third dude just marches off with us when he has absolutely nothing to do with the mission. He just disappears. Never see him again. Uh, so, this mission, we have to try and get some unwanted... Uh, well, we want some cop attention. The easiest way to get some uh, wanted stars. Is to go to our local tool shop. And pull the newsy out on the guy. Now, that got them really now we should have easy cops following us. The reason you want two stars instead of one is because a one star wanted level will drop off very easily. Whereas a two-star wanted level won't go away. So it'll be easier to lure cops in with a two-star wanted level. If that makes any sense. So. Now all we've got to do is head to this garage. Easy peasy. It's perfectly. A bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Hello, Strife. Apologies for the ads. They shouldn't be 30 seconds anymore, though. Um... Oh, and by the way, very convenient cop car just right here. So, you don't need to steal one. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, boys. That was a very late spawn in there. I was reading the chat and not paying attention. <laughs> um, anyway. I am genuinely surprised we didn't aggro the cops doing that. Hey there, officer. Nice badge. Nice badge. 144 hertz TV. They are quite nice. Well, I set the ads up to be for 20 seconds. Um, three times an hour or something like that. Okay, 
timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! Why would you set the timer for five seconds? Do you know what I mean? It is very fair to say that Tommy Vassetti is not the sharpest knife in the draw. sake Lance oh for fuck's sake Lance why did you I mean based on what we just saw yes Tommy is a lot smarter than Lance Jesus why did he run in front of me okay Lance let's get the cops attention fuck's sake You can't blame me for that. I was already breaking when, when Lance was like, I'm just going to run straight in front of the car. Anyway, we're going to do this mission and then we're going to call it a day for today, I think. Oh, I forgot to get the wanted level, for fuck's sake. Ah, shit. The only problem with the one star wanted level is the cops are shit. Like, they just... Look, the, the wanted stars run off already. Come here, officers. There we go. It's better. Tie him up and gag him. Oh, that's funny. Bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. So the the garage door has, has, isn't spawned in. So you can see how the script works. It just pops the heads of the two cops that were in the garage. That's funny. <laughs> okay, we want a cop car, we don't want this. Pop in there, he's, he's crazy. I don't remember it being like that in the vanilla. I don't know if that's a DE thing or not. It's quite possibly a vanilla thing, but that popping is unacceptable. Like, really bad. Do you know what we're going to do? Rather than going through this door... Why don't we park this car... Outside of this door... Where it's actually useful. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge. Nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get out of here! Don't make me angry! No, not Lance. Where's Lance? Why, Lance, why are you just in the mall? Lance? Lance, why are you in the mall? Lance? Lance, what the fuck are you doing over there, Lance? The 
fuck is wrong with you, boy? Oh, for fuck's sake! Look at the state of this now. I'm gonna get fucking busted. Oh, for f Fucking Lance is an absolute monster in this mission. We're going to do it next. I'm going to do it on one day. Um, just absolute bullshit cop spawns as well. Like just cop cars just ramming in everywhere. Body armor, it depends on the weapon. Like it depends what weapons the cops have got. Depends on how quickly they drain your armor and your health. Um, but, like, the guy who drained my ammo, uh, my entire health and armor in two shots had a Spaz-12, which just drains all of your, um... <laughs> cock car, yeah, cop cars. Cock, 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 cock cars. Anyway, it's late, I'm going to bed. Uh, I'll be back on Monday, and we'll continue on. Um, I reckon we'll get this game done pretty quick. A couple of streams tops, but, uh, yeah. Cool, alright.